In an ideal world, things would be quite different than they are now. There'd be no broken hearts, nor hurting families, no lying, cheating, or stealing. And we wouldn't war over parcels of land or natural resources. In this perfect world, everyone would lead a flourishing life. So why isn't that our world? What would it take for society to truly flourish? New laws? New leaders? Or could the answer be far more enigmatic? Throughout history, great minds have recognized that good societies can only be produced by people of good character, identifying certain moral virtues that make up good character. Virtues such as courage and honesty, humility and self-discipline, justice and compassion, and generosity and gratitude. Those who do not cultivate and practice these virtues can amount to nothing more than a fragment of who they were meant to be. On the other hand, people who do cultivate and practice these virtues are empowered to achieve excellence and experience greater flourishing and fulfillment in their lives, making them key contributors to a flourishing society. But perhaps what is most exciting about these virtues, so critical to societal and personal flourishing, is that they can be taught and that good character can be learned by anyone. Informed by our data-rich research, with over 120,000 participants, we in the Jubilee Center for Character and Virtues at the University of Birmingham have crafted proven curricular resources that inspire and equip everyone to cultivate moral, civic, intellectual, and performance virtues for individual and societal flourishing. Over the years, we've written more than 100 academic papers, created over 50 films, published dozens of books, and have assembled a library of more than 4,000 other publications on character and virtue. Through this work, we've reached over 1 million students and 7,000 schools in the UK alone. We've also established international partnerships and have shared our research and insights with numerous countries around the world. We've seen lives transformed, schools revitalized, and communities strengthened, all by people simply pursuing virtue. And what could be better for our world than that? So it's clear that the answer to our question, what would it take for society to truly flourish, lies within each and every one of us.